charred soldiers were greeted with cheers as they returned to the capital in Jomena on Sunday. The military says it had defeated northern rebels following weeks of fighting. It was in those clashes that President Idris Deby was killed, after which a military council assumed power. On Sunday, the military displayed prisoners and vehicles from the front for change and concord in charge for the media. Abaka Abdul Karim Dawood is the Chadian Army's Chief of General Staff. We brought back war prisoners and their gear. We cleaned up all the areas where they infiltrated and I can guarantee that the whole territory is secured. We ask the people to return to their normal occupations and enjoy regained peace. Our country is secured, thanks to God. However, this is not the first time that the transition of military authorities have declared victory, only for fighting to then continue. The rebel group which crossed the border with Libya in April says it was not aware of an end to fighting. A spokesman said they would comment when there was reliable and credible information. Debbie's death in a battle against rebels plunged Chad into crisis. The military council led by Debbie's son took power and promised an 18-month transition to elections. But opposition politicians and civil society groups have denounced the takeover as a coup. On Saturday, security forces fired tear gas to disperse a protest against the military takeover.